Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I wanna to talk about a modification I am putting on my pit boss. So for some reason, the 1000 level pit bosses have quite a bit of temp swings and the heat distribution just isn't that great inside of there. And I've noticed that quite a bit myself. I can almost be 25 to 50 degrees off from what the internal probe says compared to what my probe says. So I went ahead and purchased this mod for about 35, 36 bucks, and it just came in today. So I'm excited to install it, and I'm gonna show you all how to do that as well. So I went ahead and took the mod out of the box here, so you can see it's just this piece of steel, and came with two self-tapping screws. It already has some holes drilled into this steel, and I'll show you exactly where it goes and why this helps now. So you're gonna to wanna to start by taking out your grates. I know the lighting's not quite the best. I'm gonna try and use a flashlight here to help that out. Basically, I'm gonna take off this piece here. You can just move it out of the way. Keep a towel nearby in case uh, things get a little greasy. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull out your drip tray here. If you're gonna be taking this off, you might as well use this time to go ahead and clean it out. So on the previous models, this piece was more rounded so it'd fit and cover up and cover the heat from coming right in here to your thermometer. That's your internal thermometer. So what this mod does is there's two things you can do. You can either just set it right there like that, which may be what I'm gonna do, or you can use the self-tapping screws and install it on the outside, kind of like that. So as you can see, this is pretty rounded here. Now, if you look in at how it's built, this here is pretty flat. And so you've got a gap that basically will come up right here and that heat will flow right over that piece and hit your thermometer, which is located right here. So this modification we have here is perfectly designed to fit in those slots and block any of that heat to come through and hit the thermometer. So you can just set the modification in like that right there. And then you put your drip pan back in and you can see that it fits nicely in there. And I can feel under here and there is no gap for that air to go through and hit your thermometer right there. All right guys, so we got the pit boss rolling with the heat mod in, I'm sitting here set at 300. You can see actual says 305. I have another probe sitting in there that says 295. And really it's been kind of fluctuating over the past 20 or 30 minutes from like 290 to 310. And I was having issues before. I mean, I was fluctuating 7,500 degrees at times. So this seems to definitely be helping. But I'll keep an eye on it. I'm cooking a few more things over the next day or two and give you all an update. Back at the pit boss today, I'm smoking a little venison jalapeno cheese sausage and wanted to take a look. We're at 355, the other probe in there says 353 and it's set to 350. Again, fluctuating between 10 degrees plus or minus. I will say it takes a little bit longer to get up to that 350 and it'll pass by about 40, 50 degrees, and then it'll drop right back down and it'll settle in right at the right temperature. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to put the self-tapping screws in. I'll just leave it as is. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, I'll put a link to this modification in the description. Thanks guys.